holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Cross. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to what another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Get up. Take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Take. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Take. we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy picked me Come up and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, to said book? Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are big and sensible, girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! And say sorry to Daddy. Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. Yes, it's me, Willy. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona worked at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited Austin. my auntie Shona, yeah. I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. 
Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on, then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Where's Dobbin? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time so for your riding so lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie I'm Shona ready. sniffed go and, and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig. Nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Willy. Yes, it's me, Willy. Rain. When I was little, Daddy took me in the car to play in the park. The car was very dirty. We'll have to take it to the car wash, said Dad. Willy came too. That's a good tag and you get. I'd never been to a car wash before. There you go. Thank Thanks you very much. Daddy right, made sure all the windows were closed. Right, that's us. Daddy drove into a big box machine with giant brushes. Suddenly, the brushes came towards us. I don't like this, I said. I think the cars get this hair washed. Cheer up, Sig, said Dad. It's like the car's having a hair wash. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber. Three rubber dubber. 
for Rubba Dubba. Daddy was right. It was like a big hair wash with your eyes open. The wind of the old blue. The big brushes word and Rubba Dubba the car. Five Rubba Dubba. Six Rubba Dubba. And swoosh! The machine washed the shampoo off. Here comes the big hairdryer. A giant hair dryer dried the car all over. Daddy drove the car out of the car wash. The car looked all shiny and new. Daddy was so pleased. On the way to the park, it started to rain. Oh no, it's raining. At the park, we splashed through a puddle. Daddy wasn't pleased. Oh no, look at my car! The car wasn't shiny. Daddy was grumpy. Daddy and me ran to a cafe out of the rain. We'll just uh, wait here till the rain stops, OK? But Daddy was grumpy. Daddy just sat. He didn't even get me a drink. I drew a picture. Daddy was making me grumpy too. Hey, Tig, no need to be grumpy, too. Daddy's just fed up, that's all. Daddy had a nice, clean car, and now it's all dirty again. Things didn't go quite how he wanted them to go. It rained, dearie me. Daddy needs cheering up like he cheered you up in the car wash. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber. Daddy is fed up with the rain, so show Daddy how rain can be fun. Jumping puddles, whee! Twirling umbrellas, catching raindrops, and listening to the rubber dub dub sound of the rain on the roof. Go for it, Tig! Give Daddy a big smile. Yes, I thought. I'll cheer Daddy up. Wow! That is brilliant. Well done. Come on. Doesn't look as if the rain's going to stop. Come on, then. I'll show Daddy how to have fun in the rain. Oh, no. We jumped in puddles. We twirled our umbrellas. <laughs> we caught raindrops. Whoa, the rain! Come here! Quick, tag! We listened to the rubber dubba dubba of the rain on the roof. Whoa. It's a puddle monster! When Daddy saw Willie in a puddle, puddle he said, Ah! Oh, my toy spider! It's only my oh, toy spider, I said. Whoa, did you hear it? Look! Whoa. I like fun in the rain. I like to see my Daddy happy. Your hand out like that. I love Willie. Woohoo! Yes, it's me, Willie! The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You've got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, 
slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. There's Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, My name. sailor hat was gone. Oh. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No. No, yeah, I wanted that. my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, I, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willie was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willie. Yes, it's My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favorite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. OK, just bones. Just bones didn't Love sound that. very exciting. I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my Grandad. Let's get up these big sticks. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur, said Grandad. Wow. Oh, uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus! It was real! It was big! It was bigger than me! It was too big! I was scared! What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. 
Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Teg, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Teg, big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones, there's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar. It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. Guess who's Christmas magic. When I was little, I liked Christmas time the best. At Christmas time, everything twinkled and sparkled and looked different and magic. One Christmas tree for Grandad. But there was one Christmas when we were going to have a very special Christmas day. Climbing up. One Christmas cake for Grandad. We are going to stay with Grandad. We are going to make Christmas magic for Grandad too. Yeah. I chose a special Christmas present for Grandad from me. It was a big, big Santa. Before we went to Grandad, we listened to Christmas carols. Carols were in a big, high place. When we came out of a big, high place, it was snowing. Oh, Santa will love this. Why? So the reindeer can pull a sleigh in the snow. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was all snowy. It was magical. Hooray! Santa can ride his sleigh. We put all the special things for Grandad's Christmas in the car. It was a long way to Grandad's. Mummy and me played I Spy. White and fluffy. Climb! Counting cars. How many red cars you can see? One, two, and sang songs. I love Willie and Willie, Willie loves me. me. We've been together yeah. since we were wee. It was a long way to Grandad. We had to stop for lunch in a little cafe. After the cafe, Mummy drove the car. Daddy and me played I Spy. White and crunchy. Snow. Yay! Counting cars. So if you see a blue car, we count, OK? What? And Three, sang songs. We play hide and we play run. run. We, we have funny, funny, funny fun. fun. Then Daddy fell asleep. Mummy, can you tell me a story? Uh, no, Teg, no. I've got to concentrate on driving. Outside, I couldn't see much. Just snow. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Teg, not yet. It was a long way to Grandad. I was bored. Hey, Tig, long journeys can be boring when there's nothing to do. 
But there is something you can do all by yourself. You can make up a story. A finger and thumb story. A finger and thumb Christmas story. Your fingers and thumbs can be all the different people in the story. Yeah, that's right. Go for it, Tig. Have a think and tell yourself a story with your fingers and thumbs. Yes, I thought. I can tell myself a story. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy and wee Pinky Tig walked through the snow. A reindeer came along pulling a sleigh. In the sleigh was Santa. Santa looked just like Grandad. Then suddenly, we arrived at Grandad's house. It was like magic. I was so happy to see oh. Grandad. Oh, happy Christmas Eve. The funny thing was, there was no snow now. Grandad, there's no snow. Oh, don't worry, take snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. One Christmas tree for Grandad. Oh. Presents for Grandad. Can I open them now? No, not until tomorrow. We were bringing Christmas magic to Grandad. Our special Christmas Eve box. Oh. Mummy had a special Christmas Eve box. Grandad said I could open it. When I opened the box, there was a brand new pair of Christmas pyjamas. A stocking to hang up for Santa. For all my presents. And some funny toys for us all to play with. Frog race. Oh, frog race. We'll go make the summer. Come on then. Then Grandad and me had a race. Okay, Tech. We ready? One, two, three, go. Go! Go! Oh! 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 After supper, I put in my new Christmas pyjamas. Outside there was still no snow. Biscuits for Santa. We need to leave them at the chimney. Oh, but look, Grandad doesn't have a chimney. Grandad needs to have a chimney. I know. Why don't we go and put it in the hall, OK? Come on, then. We'll go and leave it in the hall. Chimney or no chimney, Santa's still going to leave you presents. Grandad didn't have a chimney. So we left the biscuits at the front door. Yeah. I hung my stocking at the end of my bed. Mummy, how will Santa know I'm at Grandad's house, not my house? Because Santa will always know where you are, Tig. Right, come on, into bed. Santa will always know where you are, said Mummy. Mummy kissed me. Night, night. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was worried. There was no snow for Santa's sleigh. No chimney for Santa to climb down. And did Santa know I was staying at Grandad's? Hey, Tig. It's a worry to wonder how Santa will visit with no snow, no chimney and not knowing where you are staying. But hey, sometimes things just happen. That's the magic. Especially when Grandad says, snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. Especially when Daddy says, chimney or no chimney, Santa will still bring presents. Especially when Mummy says, Santa will always know where you are. I want to see Santa. Hey, I'm sure Santa wants to see you too. But for magic to happen, there's no peeping. If you peep, it wouldn't be magic. Go for it, Tig. Pop into bed and snug down to sleep. Think of cosy, happy thoughts and soon it will be Christmas Day. Close your eyes for sleepy buys Float all fluffy and light Smiles and kisses and giggles and hugs Will snooze you through the night Think of where you'd like to be Wiggling toes in sandy sea Snuggle down, soft or cosy and sweet Counting kisses and trees Sleepy tight Yes, I thought No peeping And then it was Christmas Day My room was filled with snowflakes It was 
magic. At the end of the bed was my stocking filled by Santa. Merry Christmas, Tig. Oh, wow, so Santa found you. I thought he would. Have you got... Around the Christmas tree, we opened more presents. Best of all was giving Mummy her present from me. Oh, my goodness, I love these. Oh, lovely. Very nice. What is it? Best of all was it? giving Daddy his present from me. Oh, I love it. It suits you. Best of all was giving Grandad his present from me. Oh, <laughs> His very own Santa. Just like you, Grandad. I think it looks a bit like me. My best present was my magic set from Grandad. No, it's Ted's magic show. Right. After lunch, I did a magic show. No peeping, I said. It won't be magic if you do. Abracadabra. Wow. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do the most amazing trick. Whoa. There's an empty hat. Oh. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> Go for it, Tig. I liked making Christmas magic for Grandad. There's an empty hat. I love Willie. 